we are going to sculpt the most beautiful chin on this lovely patient today. You can see here the injector is using a white filler. That white filler is called radius. It is calcium hydroxylapatite. So it varies. It's different from your typical, typical hyaluronic acid filler, which is generally just a clear gel. So calcium hydroxylapatite is a biostimulatory filler. And what that means is in addition to providing immediate filling properties, Properties. It also stimulates the body to produce new collagen, which is called neocollagenesis. So this this filler does two things. It's going to uh, rejuvenate the skin and also fill. It's a wonderful filler for creating contour and creating shape. So for example, this is a great product to use on the chin and the jawline and the cheeks because you lay it deep on bone and the elasticity uh, and the support that it provides is is really going to give you exactly what you need when you're looking for creating that very chiseled and defined jawline. So you can see here the injector is going straight in down to the bone, pulling back slightly. She's aspirating, of course. This is, is the most safe injection um, technique that we can offer is always aspirating before you're placing your product, especially when you're using Radius. Radius is a filler that cannot be dissolved. Uh, compared to your hyaluronic acid fillers, which can be reversed with hyaluronidase. We don't have that safety net when we're using Radius, and so we always want to make sure we are taking all of the proper precautions to hopefully prevent any complications from arising. All righty, now you can see product has been placed and we are sitting the patient up. Always examine your patients from all angles in the chair. This is how you're going to make sure that everything looks symmetrical. You might pick on pick up on maybe a deficiency or an area that requires more attention once they're sitting forward. So you can sit them up, look at them from all angles, and then reevaluate where is going to be your next step. In this circum in this situation, it looks like we're going straight in the center of that chin where she's going to require a little bit of a additional filler. The patient was numbed for about 15 minutes with a topical BLT-like uh, anesthetic, and she's tolerating it very nicely. Radius Plus also has lidocaine in the filler as well. So as you work, the patient is going to become a little bit no more numb with the lidocaine lidocaine that is in the product there. So again, always using safe injection technique. We will teach you chin and jawline filler at our level three dermal filler course, which is going to require um, a very experienced injector. So be sure that you have a bunch of good cases under your belt from your level one filler course and your level two filler course, and then you can come to the level three and be prepared to do a lot of really advanced, awesome skills. These are skills that you are really going to benefit from having in your practice because they're just another tool in that tool belt that you can offer your patients, um, allowing you to be the most diverse injector and really be able to offer everything that your patients are looking for. Right now, that chiseled jawline and sharp chin are just really what people are going for. And so you want to be able to offer all of those services for your patients so that they keep coming back to you. So again, looks like Megan decided to go in just for one more injection here. The patient did have a pre-existing uh, sort of lump under her chin from previous chin filler placed elsewhere. So she's placing a little bit of additional product just to try and to disguise that appearance of that. 